This video will introduce major chord inversions and show you how to use them in a 1-4-5 chord progression. Welcome to Songwriting Explained, videos that help you become a better songwriter. What is the 1-4-5 chord progression? The 1-4-5 chord progression is a very common three chord progression that uses only the major chords. It is an excellent place to start with chord progressions and songwriting. If you need to learn more about this, including help with the Roman numeral system, then check out our How to Play 1-4-5 chord progression in any key video. What are major chord inversions? Major chords are made of three notes. Usually we play the root note as the lowest note in a chord. When we play one of the other notes as the lowest note in the chord, we call it an inversion. As there are three notes in the major chord, we have two possible inversions. These are called first and second inversions. When using the Roman numeral system for chords, a small i is placed before the chord number to indicate a first inversion, and two small i's represent a second inversion. If you'd like a simple introduction to the major chord inversions, then check out our How to Play All Major Chord Inversions video. Although they have the same notes as the standard major chord, inversions are useful in songwriting because they can provide a different colour or flavour to a chord progression and can provide us with interesting bass lines. The first inversion has a feeling of movement in it. The lowest bass note is the third note of the chord and wants to resolve up or down. This makes it great for creating a sense of movement in a chord progression. For example, in this progression, we can change the 5 chord to a 1st inversion to provide more emotion or a feeling of movement. You'll see in our examples that the inversions have numbers next to them, rather than the small eyes that I had mentioned previously. If you see a 6 next to the chord number, then that indicates a 1st inversion, and if you see a 6 and a 4 next to a chord number, then that indicates a 2nd inversion. This is just an alternative notation, so don't be worried about it. The second inversions are more stable than the first inversions, and often used interchangeably with the standard major. They feel less like home than a root chord, but less mobile than a first inversion. However, they give us flexibility in a chord progression. A typical use would be the one chord second inversion used before the five chord, as they share the same bass note. Inversions are more commonly played on certain instruments. For a piano player, they are easy to play and an integral part of learning the instrument, but for a guitar player they can be hard to finger and more difficult to use. One way to get around this in a band setting would be to play the standard major chord on guitar and get the bass player to play the lowest note of the relevant inversion. If you're using Ableton or any other DAW and creating music in software, you can use many techniques with inversions. As long as the relevant lowest note for the inversion is audible, then the overall effect should be the same. The use of inversions allows us to create bass lines that move in small steps with only the 1-4-5 chords. These can create a feeling of moving up or down. When it feels like moving up, we can create what is known as an escalator effect. For example, withholding a certain chord until later in a song is a common technique to create some new interest. The problem with using just three chords, such as 1-4-5, is that the song can become very boring when keeping one chord back. 
Inversions allow us to create some variation whilst only using a couple of chords. For example, if we want to hold back chord 1 until later in a song, e.g. for a chorus, then we can use inversions to maintain interest. Let's now discuss turnarounds. A turnaround is a chord pattern that repeats. They are normally two to four bars in length. They are used commonly in popular music. You'll see that these turnarounds end with the five chord. The role of the five chord is discussed more in our 145 video, but you can hear its importance here. The simplest example just has the chords in order. We can use our inversions here on the second one chord to create a nice stepped bass line. There are obviously many other combinations we could try. Let us know in the comments below what your favourite 145 turnaround is. Thanks for watching. You can now understand the role of inversions in the 145 chord progression. Please like and subscribe to Songwriting Explained for more songwriting content. If you would like more chord progression videos, then there is a playlist on screen for you now.